Taurus, this is you versus them for the 9th through the 16th. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into this. This reading is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. Let's see how you guys felt about this person before or the relationship. Whatever comes up. Here we go. Taurus's feelings about this person or the relationship. Okay. Five of Swords. It was always a fight. It was always a fight. Always an argument with this person. Aquarius energy there. Always battling. There's something too that I feel like um, you guys are feeling like you guys were always being like pitted against each other by someone else too. Hmm. What were their feelings about Taurus or relationship? Their feelings. What were their feelings? Queen of Cups, they loved you. They loved you. They still love you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They still have love to give to you. I feel that this person is wondering right now if you still uh, care for them. What's currently happening for Taurus? What's currently happening for Taurus? Two of Wands. I get that you still think about this person, but you wonder if it will be the same situation that it was before. And I think that's what keeps you from, like, you know, reaching out to this person because you don't want a repeat of the constant arguments and fighting and butting heads and, you know, people interfering in your relationship here. Aries energy there with the Two of Wands. I see you looking down and I see you like looking at this situation and I think it's so heavily on your mind and it's weighing on you here because I do get that you still care for them. They may not know that but I do get that. It's currently happening for the other person. Six of Cups thinking about you. They feel like you guys are their soulmate. They cannot get you off of their mind here, Scorpio energy. They're having a hard time getting past what you guys share, daydreaming about you even when they're at work. Thinking about how much they love you still. What's influencing Taurus' situation? Oh, yeah, that tower. The instability. The explosive arguments. I feel like you and this person separated quite suddenly here. Scorpio energy. And I feel like, you know, the whole relationship, you guys felt like you were walking on eggshells. Like, um, it was very volatile. Hmm. I think you're still very, like, hurt and affected by this. What's influencing the situation with the other person? Four of Swords. You know, I feel like this person still hurt. This is not something I feel that has just happened, but they're again having a hard time getting over it as I see that you are as well. But I think what's helping you guys out more is that um, you're thinking about like, you know the negative things that happen and it keeps you like you know at bay but this person is like thinking about all the good shit that happened um how they feel about you the good times that you guys share they miss you so much because you know the good outweighs the bad for them um i feel like they kind of have their head in the clouds a little bit here but um i i get that they don't like get out much they don't interact with other people. They don't engage with other people. This is Libra energy here. Because the situation with you, the fact that they feel like you guys are meant to be, is still so heavily on their mind. What's coming in for Taurus? What's coming in for Taurus? Queen of Pentacles. 
Hmm. It could definitely be another person that's coming in for you guys. Or this is just you just like, you know, pulling yourselves together and just really realizing that, um, you know, the reality of the situation is that it was very volatile. You guys argued a lot. That maybe there's still instability here. But I, I see that, you know, a lot of you are probably throwing yourselves into work and um, material things like going out, going on trips, um, possibly just taking care of family and being involved in family situations with the Queen of Pentacles energy. But um, I do get that you guys have a very level head and you're very reasonable. You have taken... I'm not going to say taking your emotions out of it because, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is still very emotional, very supportive, just not as emotional as the Queen of Cups, okay? The Queen of Cups can be overly emotional. The Queen of Pentacles, not so much. Very reasonable. Um, can also be a little stubborn. So I get that, you know, but you're looking right back at the tower here, the instability. And feeling like you're not going to let this bring you down because I get that it kind of brought you down um, spiritually as well as financially. And it's like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. But I see you still looking at it, though. So it's still on your mind. You're just not allowing your emotions that just to completely take over is um, the thing here. So it could be another earth sign like yourself, Taurus. Capricorn or Virgo energy, okay? What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? Seven of Swords. If this person left, they are so heavily focused on you guys here. They don't have any wands here, but I get that their energy is still with you. They are so contemplating coming back so contemplating coming back um but right now they feel like what's best for them is just to really like think about this think about they're trying to think about like all of it like the good and the bad they're really trying to and i think that's why they're you know in this four of swords state because they're really trying to not just like let their emotions take over and look at the reality of the situation that was between the two of you. I feel like this is a very toxic connection. Um, you guys may not be toxic separate, but together it looks like definitely there was some toxic energy here with the five of swords and the seven of swords here. So this person may have left because they felt like that's what was best for them. Um, removing themselves from the situation but I definitely see that they are so considering coming back and um, that's where they're at right now they're not making any physical movement to come back but I see it's weighing on them okay what is the outcome here for Taurus temperance you guys are getting your head and your heart together getting it in check um, spiritually you are you are getting to a point where you can see it from both sides I feel um, there's also a feeling of wanting to try to work things out to talk things out but you're having a hard time with this tower being in the center of your reading thinking about the shit storm that occurred between the two of you okay uh, that Sagittarius energy there but uh, I definitely feel like, you know, you're really like weighing here. You're in a better spot than they are because I feel like they are overcome with emotion. Um, they are overcome with like thoughts of you, thoughts of what has happened between the two of you. Um, I feel like this person regrets walking out and leaving if they left. Either they regret walking out or they feel like you guys did something like cheated on them or um you know just took them for granted and they're hoping that you come back they they're hoping that you think about them <clears throat> what 
What's the outcome for them? Two of Wands. Two of Wands. What to do? What to do? Both of you guys have the Two of Wands here. They have the Two of Wands and so do you. One of you, I feel, will reach out. But I feel like it'll be them before it's you though. Because even if you guys did something that you feel like you, you're not that proud of, you feel like the situation between the two of you was like, you know, it, it was destined to end because of how you guys interacted with each other. They're so tempted to reach out to you. So tempted to reach out to you. So tempted to come back. Just wanting to be back with you. Okay, but right now they're still kind of um, just not in the right frame of mind, I don't think. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.